So what can you make with one pound of strawberries? Really, the options are endless. Now, when you're cooking for one, you can take the same pound of strawberries and make at least four amazing desserts. And I'm going to show you four of my favorites. Each of these single serving recipes are so easy to make and each one tastes so incredibly delicious. So let's get started with an easy no bake single serving strawberry icebox cake. An icebox cake is made by layering ingredients like cookies, fruit, and a simple creamy filling and letting it set in the refrigerator. Although we're making a strawberry version, there are thousands of ways you can customize this dessert by using different cookies and fruit. So here's what you need. Place two ounces of softened cream cheese, two tablespoons of sugar, and a half of a teaspoon of vanilla in a medium-sized bowl and beat well with an electric hand mixer. Set the bowl aside. In a separate small bowl, whip half a cup of cold heavy cream with an electric mixer until the cream thickens and looks like this. So use cold cream because cold cream whips better and also you can make whipped cream using a whisk, but it takes a bit longer and it is an arm workout. So just if you use a whisk, switch arms if you have to. Gently fold the whipped cream into the cream cheese mixture and blend well. Layer the bottom of a small dessert dish with about one sheet of graham crackers. Break them up if you need to. I'm using a 10 ounce ramekin, but you can use another dish that will hold all the ingredients. Spread half of the cream mixture evenly over the cookies. Place about a quarter of a cup of sliced strawberries on top of the cream. Then cover the strawberries with another sheet of graham crackers and top the second layer of graham crackers with the remaining cream mixture and a quarter of a cup of sliced strawberries. Cover with plastic wrap and refrigerate for at least three hours and up to overnight. So truly you can enjoy your icebox cake right after you make it, but I think it's best to refrigerate the cake for at least three hours. This allows the cookie layers to absorb moisture from the strawberries and the cream and the layers become softer. So good. I think I need to make another one. <laughs> The next recipe is a small batch of buttery strawberry white chocolate scones. These make a great dessert, but they'll also be a wonderful breakfast treat. Here's what you need. Heat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. In a mixing bowl, stir together one cup of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, an eighth of a teaspoon of baking soda, and two tablespoons of sugar. Cut four tablespoons of cold butter into small pieces and add them to the bowl. Blend in the butter using your fingers, a pastry cutter or a fork, or a food processor until coarse crumbs form. I always use my fingers to rub the butter and the flour together. This technique is easy and very effective. In a small bowl, whisk together a quarter of a cup of milk and one large egg yolk. Be sure to save the egg white and use it in any of the egg white recipes that we have listed in the description below. Pour this into the flour mixture and stir until the ingredients are combined. The secret to tender scones is to go easy on the mixing. Stir until the dough comes together and a few lumps are absolutely okay. Gently stir in a half of a cup of white chocolate chips and a half of a cup of chopped strawberries. Turn the dough out onto a neatly floured work surface. Cut the circle into four wedges and place them on the baking sheet. Bake for 12 to 14 minutes until golden brown. Let the scones cool on the baking sheet for about five minutes, then transfer them to a wire rack to cool completely, which takes about 20 minutes. While the scones are cooling, we'll make the glaze. In a small bowl, whisk together a half of a cup of powdered sugar and two to three tablespoons of heavy cream until smooth. Drizzle over each scone. As you can see, these scones are beautiful. The red strawberries add just such a pretty burst of color. So scones will keep well in the refrigerator for up to three days. So here's a tip. Don't wash your berries until you're ready to use them. Washing makes them more likely to spoil quickly. 
The next strawberry recipe we're making is a single serving strawberry crisp. A warm and bubbly crisp is one of the easiest desserts you can make. It's rustic and elegant at the same time and can be enjoyed with a scoop of vanilla ice cream or a dollop of whipped cream. I happen to think this crisp is absolutely perfect as is. No toppings required. Here's what you need. Heat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Mix together one cup of sliced strawberries, one tablespoon of sugar, a half of a teaspoon of cornstarch, and a quarter of a teaspoon of vanilla in a small bowl. Transfer the strawberries to a 10 ounce ramekin. Next, we'll make the topping. In a small bowl, stir together three tablespoons of flour, three tablespoons of old fashioned oats, and two tablespoons of brown sugar. So you can use regular sugar, but I prefer using brown sugar here. Add two tablespoons of soft butter and blend in the butter using a fork or your fingers. Scatter the topping evenly over the strawberries. Place the ramekin on a small rimmed baking sheet to catch any possible spills and bake for 30 minutes until the topping is golden and the fruit is bubbly. Look at this, a simple but very beautiful crisp. The fourth strawberry recipe is a simple but beautiful strawberry shortcake. I really love this recipe because you can make the shortcake and use it with other kinds of fruit like peaches or a mixture of berries. The dessert is really easy to customize. Here's what you need. Heat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Whisk together a half of a cup of flour, one tablespoon of sugar, a half of a teaspoon of baking powder, an eighth of a teaspoon of baking soda, an eighth of a teaspoon of cinnamon, and an eighth of a teaspoon of salt in a medium-sized bowl. Cut two tablespoons of cold butter into small pieces and add them to the bowl. Blend in the butter using your fingers, a pastry cutter, a fork, or a food processor until coarse crumbs form. Pour in two tablespoons of milk and stir until the mixture is just combined. Spoon the dough onto a baking sheet lined with parchment paper or silpat and shape it into a circle. Bake until the biscuit is golden brown, about 12 to 15 minutes. Let it cool on the baking sheet for five minutes. Transfer the biscuit to a cooling rack to continue cooling for about 10 minutes. To assemble the dessert, slice the biscuit in half, spoon about a quarter of a cup of sliced strawberries on the bottom half, and top with whipped cream. Use store-bought whipped cream or make your own. We've linked to a small batch whipped cream recipe in the description below. Place the top half of the biscuit over the whipped cream and dust with powdered sugar if you'd like. And here you go, a dessert that's fresh, beautiful, and one that I know you're dying to dig right into. So these are my easy single serving and small batch strawberry recipes. In the comments below, let me know which one is your favorite, or if you have another favorite strawberry recipe, let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out these great videos and click below to like and subscribe. At One Dish Kitchen, cooking for one is all we do. Bye for now.